Hey everybody, this is Corey from Thought Soldiers. So I wanted to talk today about transmutation and calling upon Saint Germain and the ultraviolet flame to assist in the transmutation process. So right now, as of a few days ago, uh, me and a few other people I've spoke with are really getting some density around them. We can definitely feel it. Like right now, I know for me, what happened was, you know, life was going really well. I had all these things that were arriving and um, a loved one of mine was going through the same exact thing where there was just this density fighting off um, lower vibrational entities, things like that. And I got a little message. Um, St. Germain popped up in my field and said, hey, call upon me. If you guys need me, I'm here to assist. So if you don't know about St. Germain, he is the Chohan for the Violet Ray Soul Group. And he and his twin flame Portia work with the Violet Flame which helps in the transmutation process. So remember that if you're feeling this density around you or this lower vibrational entities or lower vibrational energy, let's just put it that way, energy, attaching onto your field and you are doing everything in your power to clear it, you're meditating, uh, you're using smudging tools, you're using energy work to clear your field and you're having difficulties, you can always call upon Saint Germain. Uh, that is, a, he's such played such an important role for me in transmuting these energies and you can call upon him right now. So a lot of us are also picking up things in the astrals. We're doing a lot of dreamscape work that we aren't conscious of. Some of us may be conscious of what's going on. Uh, me, when I'm in dreamscape, I don't know what's happening until I wake up in the morning. And so I've really had to double down on my self-care where, um, I clear my field before I go to bed and I call upon Archangel Michael to, or I, yeah, I call upon Archangel Michael to help to protect me while I am, uh, right before I'm going to bed and in, in dreamscape. And then in the morning, uh, call upon St. Germain to help burn away any, um, toxic energies that have attached onto my field while I've been doing that astral work. And so right now it's very important. Uh, with the energies and when we are increasing in sensitivity and we're on that role of our lightworker journey, which I know for me, transmutation has been a huge part of my process, um, transmuting for the collective as well, which is not for the faint of heart. And it's not something anyone should just take on before they, before, but if they don't know what they're doing, let's just put it that way. And I'm still figuring it out. I mean, there's times that stuff's attaching to my field and I, I think it's personal or I think it's a, a hex or an attack, um, but then I recognize I'm just transmuting for the collective. And um, the violet flame has really come in to, to play and, and, and to help. And when, when we're growing in sensitivity, we need to recognize that energy comes from all sources. We've got energy attached to our social media accounts. We've got energy attached to our bank accounts, um, various matrices and systems as well. So we have energy coming from the government system. We have energies coming from the judicial system. We have energies coming from healthcare systems. And if you work in any of these fields or, you know, you're, you're, um, you're exposed to these energies, which a lot of us are, especially in, in, uh, heavy urban environments, be aware that, that things are going to latch onto your field, especially if you are vibrating very high, you're holding a lot of light. And this is where I've had to, for the last few days, really double down on my self care. I'm having to connect more to the light. I'm having to fill up without as much light as possible. Um, expanding my field out as far as possible. Because the other thing too is that <clears throat> when I'm increasing in sensitivity and things are coming into my field, what will happen is I will energetically kind of shut down and go into what I would call like a fetal position, almost hermit mode to keep my energy very close in order to kind of not feel all of this stuff. And so the Violet Flame has worked wonders in my life, calling upon St. Germain and just invoking him, asking him, St. Germain, I need you right now. I need the Violet Flame. Please help to wash away any of these uh, lower vibrational energies that are attaching to my field and are keeping me stuck. And he will gladly come in and, and assist. You can also call upon Portia as well. Um, but there's uh, some really good meditations on YouTube that have really helped. And I wanted to put this little quick reminder out there that if you're feeling darkness, density, you're feeling things attached to your field, or you're actually seeing them, like if, you're, if your clairvoyance is up and you are seeing that... Um, things are attaching to your field and you're trying to clear by yourself, remember that you can call upon St. Germain right now. He is there at full force and he is always honored to, to help and um, call upon Archangel Michael for protection. 
And another good Archangel to call upon is Archangel Raphael, as uh, me and Samantha Rodriguez call it, Scrubby Bubbles, to help to help bring it down the Scrubby Bubbles to scrub away those and dissolve those cords as well. Um, because yeah, we've we've got right now. There's there's been this influx, at least for me, um, and you know a few other people I've spoken with that are picking up astral dirt. Um, we're, we're picking up lower energies throughout our day or we're transmuting for the collective. And so right now, if you're going through this, remember, call upon St. Germain, call upon your guidance. They will gladly come down and assist in that. They are always around and prepared to do that. So that's all I got guys. A little quick message, um, about working with the violet flame. If you, um, have, are interested in learning more about the violet flame, definitely research it on YouTube. There's a lot of great resources out there to discuss how to work with it. Um, how to call upon it, um, how to invoke St. Germain. I do know that St. Germain loves waltz-style music, especially from, um, oh gosh, what's his name? It's not Johann Bach, but he loves waltz-style um, waltz style music. And so that's another thing, too, is if you listen to classical um, and you're going through the Violet Flame process or, or you're trying to call upon uh, St. Germain, Listen to some waltzy um, classical music, and he will. It, it helps to just kind of add to the atmosphere and the dynamic of the transmutation process. For me, it really helped out. Uh, there's a really great one called Cat Waltz and Rose Waltz um, that I found on um, Apple Music actually. That really he really really liked, um, especially when I was working a lot with the Violet Flame. So. Definitely do your research, check it out, and, and remember you're not alone. Um, if you're feeling this density around you, just recognize you're doing something big right now. Um, and it may suck in the moment, but it's making you the stronger and more resilient being you are. And um, it is going to make you so much more capable to handle the things that life throws at you um, at an energetic level. So that's all I got, guys. Much love and respect to everybody out in the universe. And I will see you guys on the other side. Namaste.